Hi guys, I'm Ghost Jones and welcome back to the Ghost Jones YouTube channel. Whew, and welcome back to another episode or another session, I guess I should call it, of webcam therapy. So today is a day. This is literally the day after all of this has happened. Like I just feel like I had to film this while everything was like fresh on my mind because honestly all of this is crazy and I just was not expecting this to happen. I just feel like for these last like three to four months life has really been lifing. Like I've been learning a lot of lessons since I last talked to you guys and we're going to cover those later. I kind of want to go in chronological order so you can understand everything, but I just have to kind of break that for right now because I'm honestly still in a state of utter shock and traumatization. Like, I feel like this is kind of like almost the ending of my trauma zine. I just feel like nothing else worse can happen besides me like waking up and dying or waking up dead that's gonna shock me this story is kind of crazy i just want y'all to listen like i'm not gonna do any edits or anything so like if i mess something up it just hey it is what it is like it's literally like this is therapy for me so basically um christmas is on a monday right and i did not have to work saturday so I was off from like Saturday to Monday. I didn't have to go back to work until Tuesday. Um, I have a friend named Dante. If you kind of know, if you're watching, like if you're like my real life friend that you kind of know about like the beef and everything that we've had like recently, but we've kind of settled that and that's going to come out later. So stay tuned for that because we're going to explain everything and why we're back cool. So don't judge me just yet. But... On the 23rd, I was off work, so I hit my friend up. I was like, hey, you know, what's, your what's, the, what's going on? What's popping? Because I'm like, you know, the holidays are coming up. Like, the grocery stores are going to be closed. Like, I've literally just been in, like, this depressive state since I last talked to you guys. And I just haven't really been wanting to do anything. So, my fridge has been empty. I've been eating out. Like, I've just been doing, like, all of the typical, like, depression. We're going to call it the pressure cooker. Pressure cooker things. And I was like, you know, you got like three days off, bro. Just go to the grocery store, like get back to yourself, fill your fridge up, call the clean lady, let her clean, do all the cool stuff, right? Ooh, excuse me. So I hit my friend Nazi up. I'm like, hey, what you doing? He was like, nothing, you know, I don't got to work till five. That's cool. It's like 10 o'clock. So since Dante doesn't really have a car right now and I have a car and I'm going to the grocery store, I'm just like, you know, I'm going to be considerate. I understand like how crazy it is, like when you don't have a vehicle and like how much money that costs or whatever, not to like throw shade at him or like kind of like talk down on him or whatever, because I've been there and I'm there right now. So like, I just really feel like my intuition was like speaking to me in this moment and I'm slick kind of glad that it did so i was like okay cool you know like what's up like let's hang out before you go to work you don't gotta go to work until five like we got hella time so i pull up to my friend dante's house like he made some food so we had like a small little brunch or whatever and after the brunch we had went to the liquor store and went to the grocery store so after the grocery store, we went back to his house, like we drink, we're doing our thing, watching music videos, watching movies, we're doing all types of stuff, right? Like doing what friends do. So I decided to take Dante to work because I don't have nothing to do, right? And Dante works downtown. So I took him to work. When he got to work, he was like cut from his shift or whatever. There's this place downtown, like, if you follow me on TikTok, it's called Anatolia, and I did, like, a small TikTok about how this lady had died at a restaurant, whatever, but outside of her dying, the place is pretty nice. Like, they got good food, they got good drinks, like, everything is cheap, they got hookah for, like, $20 or whatever, like, it's slick, kind of like a hidden gym, like, downtown, like, many people don't go there, because it's kind of, like, hidden off in the corner or whatever. So, 
when I when I had dropped him off, I was still kind of lit. So then when he called me, I was still kind of down the street. So I was like, all right, girl, like, you know, I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go to Anatolia. We're going to get us some drinks. We're going to do the hookah. We're going to do everything. Like, it's a vibe. Like, we love this place. So we go to Anatolia. Like, we have our drinks, and then we leave. So I had got a little lit. Dante had got a little lit. And I was like, babe. I don't have no headlight and I don't have no tail light. Like I'm missing literally a headlight right here and a tail light right here. So, babe, we're both on probation. If they pull us over, we're going to jail. J A I L, jail. Fulton County. We go on the right street, babe. We're gonna be in there with Young Thug. I just, I simply cannot do that. So. To give you all a little background, I work in property management and I used to work at a property um, that's literally, if you go to the top floor, you can literally see Rice Street Jail from there. So, <laughs> like, it, 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 we try to sell it as kind of like a city view, but it's like a view of the jail house. So, like, when people get out of jail, they can, like, simply walk to this place. So one night when when my friend Dante had went to jail, he had like found a friend or whatever, and they literally walked to my job. And he was like, "Hey, girl, like I'm out of jail," and I was like, "Out of jail?" But we're gonna talk about that later. So we go to Anatolia, we leave, or we're getting ready to leave, and I'm too late. So I was like, "All right, babe, well, let's just leave my car here. We'll take an Uber. Like it's fine. Like my car will be safe." That sounds crazy, but where Anatolia is, it's only ever a bunch of restaurants and slick some crackheads, but not like the type of crackheads that's going to break into your car. If you're from Atlanta, you kind of know, like, these are the girlies. I just feel like every, like, section of Atlanta has their own type of addicts and misplaced people and they all they all have their own characters and i feel like the characters down here they're i mean they're a little more family oriented like they're not gonna cause you no harm they're just kind of like down when they look so dante was like oh no babe like i just want to go home like all this stuff and i was like no girl like we'll leave the car here i'll call the uber to my house like we'll just stay at my house and we'll go and get my car in the morning so he was like no 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 no. i'm fine like i can slick kind of drive so like okay cool from my past experience i have been in a lot of situations where i i just i be getting pulled over like i have a target on my back so i kind of knew like in the back of my head i'm like okay well if somebody else is driving my car i'm not driving it and he gets pulled over we're not gonna get a ticket because he's not the driver it's slick low risk so i was like okay cool so when he drives my car i'm like babe just still take us to my house so he was like no like i want to go home like whatever so we go to his house we still had like a bottle of tequila that was like in my car or whatever why was it in my car i don't really know i don't really know probably because like i was leaving his house i was taking my stuff I'm the type of person that if I don't finish my bottle at the party, I'm going to take it home. And y'all can just judge me. Like, I, I simply do not care. So, against my wishes, he takes me back to his house. So, we go back to his house. Like, I order a pizza or whatever. Like, we're just, like, on our typical, like, drunk stuff. Like, we're watching movies again. Like, we listen to music. Like, we're talking. Like, we're having a good time. So, ooh, that actually just reminded me of something. We don't get to that. So, we're having a good time. And he was like, oh, you know, like, I have, like, this eatable that we can have. And we had it. We had fun. We was eating, you know, a little cookie, a little Oreo thing. Like, we're vibing, right? Like, he's waiting on this dude to kind of pull up or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. When the guy pulls up, like, I'm going to go home. So I didn't go home. I went to sleep (laughs) at his house. And um, basically, we had gotten, like, our drinks to go, but we had left them in the car. 
So he went to my car and he got like our to-go cups from out of the car or whatever. He didn't lock the door. That's important. So like we're drinking them, then I fall asleep. I guess he didn't fall asleep. The dude comes over or whatever. So I wake up at like 7 30 ish in the morning and i'm just kind of laying there because i'm like i'm not gonna get up right now like i'm gonna just kind of roll around like answer any messages that like i've missed like over time whatever cool so when i get ready to leave this man's house i go outside and basically how his apartment is set up like you have like the multiple buildings and his building is right here, but I parked my car right here. But they have parking in front of the building. So I was able to park on this side and we just walked across and went upstairs or whatever. It's fine as cool. I'd have done it multiple times. So I go outside and I'm like, dang, did everybody on that road go to work? Because it's like a row of like four. So there's like three other cars beside mine. So... I'm like, did everybody go to work? Like, why is there no cars right there? Then I was like, where is my car? Because I slick kind of remember him parking right here. But we were a little lit, so maybe we didn't. So I'm walking around the complex, and I'm just like, where is my car? Like, dude, where's my car? So I call Dante, and I'm like, babe where did you park my car and he was like I parked at the building that's just right across from mine so I'm like okay cool well I don't see my car it ain't there ain't nobody's car there and he was like what like what do you mean so basically I go back to his house like we're walking around we're looking for my car and it is simply gone now in the row that I parked in there was like no broken glass like there was nothing So I was like, okay, well, like, maybe my car got towed. So I walked to the leasing office, and I look at the hours, and they're only ever open Monday through Friday. The 23rd is a Saturday. It's Christmas Eve, so it's a Sunday. So I'm like, okay, well, they didn't tow my car, so, like, slick, where is it? So I was like, girl, they done stole my car. And he was like, what? I was like, yeah, it ain't out there. So I call the police on Christmas Eve. Atlanta police, they're always so busy. Like the operators just have so much going on. So I'm calling them and I was literally on hold for like 15 minutes. So once I finally get a person, like I'm telling them like, hey, like, I think my car is stolen. And they were like, okay, like, you know, where is your emergency, all that stuff or whatever. So I tell them, and then this lady was like, oh, okay, well, um, have you been keeping up with your payments? And I was like, payments? Babe. So just a little background, I drive like a 2008 two-door Honda Accord. Like, it's a cash car. Like, I bought it for like $7,000. Like, it was quick. It was easy because I had gotten into like this crazy accident where my old car had gotten totaled. So I just needed something to like get. So I'm thinking, you know, Atlanta is slick like a flashy place. Like everybody has like a Beamer, a Hummer, a Mercedes, a Land Rover, a Jag, a Maserati, like all of these luxury cars, like a Tesla, all that. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm going to do the opposite because I'm really not like a flexor. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just get something that's easy. I don't have no car. No, I just bought it out right. It's not stealable because ain't nobody looking for it. So I told the lady, I was like, that car is so old that there should never be a note on it. Like, it's 2023, babe. The car is from 2008. So even if you paid a dollar a day since 2008, even 2010, that car is paid off. Like, that car is, like, well over, like, that car is in high school right now. So, like, I slick got offended, but I was like, okay, I mean, like, people make car payments, whatever. So she gave me like the numbers to the tow yards and then I called them and like, oh, we don't got it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna call this other place because when I got detained for a minute on my friend's birthday, which is another story. Like honestly, my life has just been full of craziness. 
And I literally do not break that many laws for me to always be getting like arrested or almost arrested. So I knew the other tow yard, so I called them. Nobody has my car. So then I called the police back. So I'm on hold for like another 15, 20 minutes. And I was like, hey, I just called y'all. Like I thought my car got towed, but don't nobody got it. It's stolen. So then the lady tells me, she was like, okay, well, you know, have you been keeping up with your payments? I was like, babe, what payment? Like, this car is old as dirt. Like, nobody should be checking for this car. So <laughs> Dante had to go to work that morning. So he left me in his house, and I was waiting on the police to pull up. It took them, like, three hours. I'm like... Is nothing an emergency to y'all on Christmas Eve? Like, I get y'all working on Christmas Eve, but baby, y'all on Christmas Eve, y'all working on Christmas Eve, it should be nothing going on. Everybody should be having time with their family, it should be making the pies, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all of the things. So, when the police finally get there, I'm like, hey, y'all, like, my car got stolen. So they were like, um, are you sure? I was like, yeah. So like, was there any broken glass? I was like, no, my car was unlocked. I still have the keys. So I just, I simply do not know how it got taken from this place. So I give them like the tag number and everything. They check the little readers and they're like, oh, okay. Well, the last time we saw the car was um, at 1030. I'm like, babe, 1030, that was me. That was me driving the car at 1030. And they were like, you know, we haven't seen it since then. Like, it has not been on the road. So they probably took the tag off, like, whatever. So I'm like, <sighs> I literally said to this man with his body cam on, I said, it's not even a nice car. Like, if you've seen my car in person, like, it literally has, like, dents on both sides because I cannot drive. And it has the tent missing on the passenger side from when somebody broke into my car. And I'm kind of, like, cheap. So I was like, I mean, you know, it's just it's a get around. Like, you know, I still be, it's fine. I'm like, somebody wanted that? He was like, yeah, I mean, you know, people kind of take cars all the time. So typically in Atlanta, people, like, still, like, Dodge, Chrysler, jeep because they have all of like the electronic um like keys and stuff so like you can plug it up to the ipad and get a car you can go this car is from 2008 baby you need a key did y'all push it from out of the apartment complex i simply do not know so now i don't have a vehicle um i so my lease here ends um, on July 1st, and I've just been dying to move to New York. So I'm just like, okay, well, I've been saving money, like, for my move. Like, I'm not really, like, planning to pay for another car in this time because I'm thinking, like, okay, from November to July 1st, I'll just drive this car, get it fixed up, and sell it. No, I literally cannot do that. So I'm carless today. Like, who really wanted a Honda Accord for Christmas? Who is your baby mama? I need to talk to her. Um, so, I mean, ultimately, I'm slick just kind of feeling a way about it. Because, like, why did y'all do that? Y'all really upset the Nicki Minaj when y'all went and sold my car. Like, literally, if y'all had to just went and asked me for the car, I would have gave it to you. It's as simple as that. Like, it's so many lights on <laughs> in it. I'm like, okay, so y'all got down the street. Like, y'all made it, like, to somewhere. Like, y'all took the tag off. So, like, I just, I simply don't know what to do. I'm trying not to feel down about it. I did fill out the police report. Let me show y'all so y'all don't think I'm lying. Because who would really steal a Honda? I'm going to cover up the case number. But here it is. So I have my official, well, temporary report. They said it's going to take like seven to ten, 10 days for them to like make the real one or whatever. So like, I guess when they do that, I'll contact my insurance. But I'm just like, 
why me, you know? Like, what about this was attractive to you? So when I was talking to my mom earlier today, she was just like, I mean, it's really just kind of like the law of averages. Like, you live in, like, a bigger city. Like, everybody's bound to have something happen to them. Like, it's not because you're a bad person. It's not because you're a good person. It's just simply because somebody saw something that they could take. So I feel like in having that conversation with her, it really kind of did change my mindset because one, on like a funny note, I'm just kind of like, at least somebody saw the value in my car, right? Like y'all saw that, honey, y'all said, I'm a, I can do something with that. But also why me? So I'm really kind of feeling like in this moment, you know, even though this is really kind of like a bad thing, like this is something that I wouldn't wish on anybody. Um, I really want to use this moment to kind of like motivate me to become better and to do better and to really like push towards that goal of moving because I'm just like, you know, if I move up north, then I won't really have to have like my own vehicle. Like I can use like public transportation. But in the meantime, I'm just thinking like, you know, Ubers are expensive. I work about 20 minutes away from my current job. So it's going to be about 40 to $50 a day for me to get to and from work. which sucks, but on the upper hand, I can afford it. I'm in like a good space financially where, you know, I did save this money for this move and I do kind of make good, you know, with my salary, with my commissions and everything where I'm like, okay, like if you have to get a car, you can make the money back like within these few months. So I guess I just, I don't know. I guess that's what I got to do. Like, I slick kind of don't have a choice. And it would just be more economical for me to purchase something quickly, especially with it being, like, the end of the year. Everybody's trying to get, like, their last little bit of commissions, like, before the year ends. But, man, I don't know. Like, have y'all gotten a car stolen from you guys before? Like, I just, I don't know. Like, this is just, this is just weird to me. Like, and it also kind of, like, made me think about, like, how I kind of move about life. Like, I really do try to be, like, humble about things. And I, I try not to be too flashy. Like, I try to be as real as I can. Like, I don't, I'm not like a flexor or a pretender. So I don't really kind of like live outside of my means. Um, I really do enjoy um, kind of just being, I guess, cheap or like cost effective because I'm like, I mean, I'm in my 20s. Like, I'm not 40 years old driving this car and I'm not the best driver. So I'm like, I don't need anything too nice. Um, I just need something to get me from point A to point B. But also, I'm like, if I do have to get a new car, should I get something nice just for the time being? Like, what if New York doesn't work out and I have to stay in Atlanta for another year? Like, am I really willing to drive another cash car or do I just want to go for something that's a little bit nicer? I simply don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Oh no, just like all of this is crazy. Like are people really still in Hondas? Like are they that easy to like get i mean they must be well i guess it probably wouldn't have been if my car had been locked 
But, I mean, they were able to get it to go. Like, they were able to get it, like, off of the complex. But also, I still kind of have a little bit of beef with his neighbors because I'm like, babe, if you heard somebody breaking into a car at, like, 12 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, why didn't y'all go out there and say something? Make them stop, yell at them. And then I'm, like, thinking to myself, what happened to the other three cars? Were those, like, actual, like, residents' cars? Like, did they have to go to work this morning? Like, what happened? I simply don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Whew. Like, all of this is just... Honestly, it's really kind of like stressing me out just a little bit, but I'm still trying to remain like happy and thankful because I could be in a space where, you know, I, I could be someone who does not have like money set aside to get something else, but it's also like really inconveniencing me. So... I've almost shifted my full perspective, but I'm not all the way there. So hopefully when I come back to you guys in a few weeks, I'll have something or I'll have all of this figured out. Um, If you have any tips or suggestions, let me know in the comments. Um, DM me on X or Instagram if you're selling a car. Maybe you can cut me a deal. I don't know. But I will talk with you guys later. Peace.